I'm gonna read S kills. The bees buzzing me. S kills comment regarding this gaming thing. Game developers. So uh, Lord Eskill says game developers have in the past suddenly cut off online games which people play for. Oh, EU wants to be able to prevent this. In other words, more rights on digital purchases in game. Oh, that's a good thing. That's good. Wow, EU is doing something good. And why are the game developers cutting the games off? Man, I'd be pissed. What the f? That's like Amazon deleting. Uh, this happened a few years ago uh, on the Kindle. Amazon reading, you know, read books. I don't have one. <laughs> I refuse to <laughs> have one, right? Um, but a few years ago, Amazon went to people's Kindle accounts. I think it was Kindle. Is Kindle? What's that reading thing called? Uh, went to their ebook library and deleted George Orwell's 1984 deleted George Orwell's 1984 from their library digital library just like you can't make this crap up right like total dystopia they deleted the book that talks about deleting books <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I like that was the final straw for me not to buy have have physical copies of books not digital copies even though i have some digital copies of books pirate bay is your friend soul seek sustainable war is a goal managed by proxy managed by proxy crazy Cheryl but going uh, going fishing with the gals in a little while so glad I was able to catch you for oh, awesome awesome probably Fahrenheit 451 too probably I know they did 1984 Cheryl I would love to join you you and your gals on a fishing trip <laughs> that would be a trip that would be awesome that would be awesome that would be awesome. <sighs> Fun. SQL, yeah. Also, more and more games work with a digital inventory of item items games. But if you, for example, say something they don't like, they can ban you and you just lost all your games. What? That's crazy. How is that even allowed? I would boycott the company, whoever it is. I just like go to Pirate Bay and get your games, man. Any company that like PayPal, like PayPal learned the lesson to a certain degree. They haven't because they're still preventing people from doing transactions. They're stock. They started banning from people from using their services. They have services to allow people to transfer money, buy things, and they started banning people from buying things using their services. Well, what happened to the stock price? Went from $300 down to $62, $65, $58, right? Some tech companies have bounced again. PayPal hasn't. Why hasn't it? Because they're still banning people from using their services. Morons. Moron. 